Hi, I'm Helen. Um, I work for Livewire Warrington. Um, you might recognise me from Orford Hub or Sankey Hub. Um, today I'm going to do a low impact circuit class for you. Um, so this is a nice uh, gentle exercise um, if you've either been um, struggling to maybe get back into exercise um, or if uh, you've maybe got a medical condition that means you can only do light exercises. Um, so it's nice and gentle um, and it'll last for about half an hour. Okay, so firstly, just make sure that you've got some nice, um, loose, comfortable clothing on. Um, I'm in my living room today, um, so I'm just going to show you that you can do this class anywhere really. Um, and you don't really need that much room. Uh, so you just want to make sure that you're not going to get too hot. So if your clothes are, uh, like I said, loose and comfortable, I've opened a window in my living room as well. We've got some gorgeous weather today. Um, also make sure you've got a drink. Um, so if you do get a little bit hot, a bit thirsty, you can just grab a, a drink of, uh, of water at any point throughout the class as well. Uh, the class is going to consist of a warm up, uh, the main exercise part and a cool down as well. So I'll be doing all those exercises along with you. You might also want to go and grab a couple of items that you can use throughout the class. So I've uh, raided the cupboards. So I've got a couple of tins. Okay, your tins are good. You can use them uh, as weights. Um, and also a couple of bottles. Maybe if you've got bottles of water or anything like that. Um, you can use something like that. So I've also got a chair. Okay, so I've placed my chair here. Uh, you can use a couch. Obviously, if you've got a couch in your living room or whatever you're doing. Or if you're not, bring your chair in. Chair is good for use of balance. And we're going to be doing some sit to stand exercises as well uh, that we're going to use the chair for. Okay, so if you've got all your bits and pieces, we can we can get going with the uh, warm up. Okay, so just make sure you've got some room around you and just nice and light. We're just going to start marching on the spot. Okay, so. When you're marching, if you want to get your arms swinging at the same time, don't have to be too fast. Nice and steady. And what we're going to do through the warm up is just get our body nice and warm, ready for exercise. And we're going to loosen up all our joints. Make everything flow and get nice and warm. Okay. If you keep going, I've got a little timer down here, so you might notice me pressing my timer every now and again, just so we know where I'm up to. <laughs> okay, now then we're going to go into a heel dig with a bicep curl. Okay, so you're gonna dig. I don't know if you can see my feet there just, but dig your heel in front of you. Okay, one leg at a time. So what's happening here is your heel's going down, your toes are going up, okay? And with that heel dig, we're also going to put in a bicep curl, okay? So your biceps are here, nice curl, heel dig, bicep curl. Now we're doing each of these exercises probably for anywhere between 40 seconds to a minute. And these are helping our joints to get nice and loose and nice and warm. Okay, so we're gonna keep going with the heel dig and the bicep curl. You might notice that you're starting to get warm now. Don't forget you can grab a drink at any time throughout this. Okay, but we will stop, we'll have a little pause after our warm up to get a little drink anyway before we start the main exercise. Okay, now we're gonna go into a toe tap with an arm raise, okay? So, if you can see my feet, you're gonna go a toe tap in front, okay? Alternate legs, nice and slow, nice and steady. If you've got your chair, you can always use your chair to balance yourself, okay? Toe taps in front. If you're comfortable, 
With that, then we're going to put an arm raise in there at the same time, okay? So toe tap in front, arm raise in front as well, okay? If your balance isn't too great, then you can always do one hand at a time, okay? And try opposite hands to your opposite feet, nice and slow, and that'll help your balance too, okay? Obviously, if you're not happy with that, you just keep hold of your chair if you've got it to hand, okay? And if we're comfortable, we're just gonna go two hands in front. So just do whatever you're comfortable with. Okay. Now, we're gonna change it slightly and we're gonna do toe taps to the side. Okay. So again, you can use chair and you're just gonna take your feet out to the side, okay? If you're happy with that, you can just place your hands on your hips or just to the side of your body. Toe taps to the side, and this is gonna be loosening up your joints around the hip area and get those nice and warm as well. Okay, you're doing well. If you like, and if your balance is good, you can throw some arm movements into this one as well. So try and do opposites with this one as well. You might have to stop and think about this one, okay? So your opposite hand and your opposite leg. And you're gonna go like a TikTok. Opposite arm, opposite leg. That's it, little TikTok motion there. This will get you thinking. <laughs> I'd like to know how many of you can do this. You should write me a little comment, and let me know if you struggled with this one or not. We're doing well. A few more seconds of this one. Don't forget, you can always just do your legs. You can use your chair. Or you can keep going with your hand and your leg movements as well. Okay? Right. So we're gonna move on to a different one now. What we're gonna do now is butt kicks, okay? So I'll turn around so you can see this one. You're literally lifting your heels up to your bottom, okay? If we do it this way, you can hold onto the chair, okay? So you've still got support if you need it. Or you can put your hands on your hips. You can do it this way, okay? Don't worry, you can't get your legs as high as what I can, okay? Even if you're doing this, okay, this is good. It's working on your balance and it's working on loosening your muscles up, okay? Just do whatever you are comfortable with. This is what the class is about. You should be getting nice and warm now. We've just probably gone over about five minutes or so. Your warm-ups usually should be around 10 minutes long at least, just to get your body ready. So we're not doing too bad, we're getting there. Okay, how are we doing well with butt kicks? Are we getting high? Okay. Now we're gonna move on to the front again, and we're gonna do high knees, okay? Again, if you've got your chair there, you can use your chair to give you some support. If you're happy, hands on the hips or out to the side, give you a bit of balance. Then you're just raising your knees up high. Again, don't you worry if you can't get your knees as high as what mine are, okay? Even if you're just bringing your knees up slightly in front, okay? Whatever you can manage. You should feel your heart's going a little bit quicker now. And we're nice and warm. Okay, we're just going to do a few seconds of this and then it'll get a little bit easier, have a little bit of a break. Okay. A couple more. Okay, and to a stop. Now then, 
Next one, side bends, okay? So you're gonna get your heart rate's gonna settle a little bit now while we're doing this, okay? Just place your hands down the side of your legs and you're just gonna tip your body to the side and then to the opposite side, okay? Good for your core, this one. Good for your balance. And again, you're just gonna go where you're comfortable. Okay, now you've got to make sure that your body is nice and straight and in line when you're doing this one. So if I show you from the side, okay, I'm not leaning back and I'm not leaning forwards when I do it. Okay, nice, straight alignment with your body. Okay, down one side, down the other. All right, just a couple more of these. Okay, how is that one going? Now, take your hands, place them near your belly button, okay? And just twist slightly to the side and then to the next side. This is a torso twist, okay? Nice and comfortable, so we're loosening up all the joints around the middle all your joints around your torso at the minute. Twist, twist. Now we're finding that one. Okay, just a couple more. Okay, hands on your hips and we're gonna do hip circles. All right, so nice big circles. We're gonna go round one way and then we're gonna change direction in a minute and go the other way, okay? Now, as with everything else, don't worry if your hip circles don't look like my hip circles, okay? Whatever you can manage, whatever is comfortable for you, there might be little ones. Okay, and then we're gonna spin it round and we're gonna go the other way. Okay, loosening up those joints around the hips, making you a little bit more mobile. Okay, don't know if you can see, I'm literally just putting my hips around in a circle. Okay, but just do whatever you can match. All right, now we're just gonna finish off with a couple of arm circles. Make sure you've got enough room. You're not gonna knock things off the mantelpiece. Hit the lampshade. I'm quite tall. I could possibly hit the lampshade, but we're all right. Okay, take it backwards. Okay, give yourself a little bit of a shake. And you've done your warm up, okay? Warm up's done, well done. So, best thing to do now is have a little bit of rest and have a drink, okay? I've got mine here, hopefully you've got your drink to hand. We don't wanna stop for too long because we've got ourselves nice and warm. We're ready to do our main warm up now, okay? So, once you've had your drink, we're gonna start your main warm up. Okay, now we're nice and warm already, so we're gonna go straight into it. So, either grab your bottles of water or grab your tins, okay, one in each hand. And this time we're gonna do a bicep curl. Okay, so I mentioned, I think, in the warm up, your biceps are here, okay, with your curl. It's gonna to help to make your arms nice and strong for the daily activities that we do. Lifting, carrying, shopping. If you want, you can march a little bit on the spot while you're doing this, okay? And that will just raise the intensity of your exercise a little bit as you're going along, okay? So bicep curl with a march if you like, or you can just do it standing still. Okay, now again, there's alternatives to this. You can do it without the weights, if you don't want the weights, okay, or if you've not managed to get any weights. Or you can do one arm at a time. Okay, whatever's comfortable for you. And we're doing about a minute of that. Okay, so we don't need those now, so you can put your weights down. Okay. 
Next one we're going to do is a calf raise. Okay, calves here at the back of your leg, not the cow kind of calf, this one, okay? If you've got your chair, you can use your chair for your balance, okay? So I don't know if you can see me again, but we're going up on our toes and back down onto the heels, okay? Up on your toes, down onto your heels. Up onto your toes, down onto your heels, okay? You can always just use one arm to support yourself if you're confident. Or if you're happy, nothing at all. Okay, up onto your toes, down onto your heels. And this is working the muscles, mainly in your calves, but you notice when you're going up that it might get a little bit tense here in the top of your legs as well. Also good for your balance and your core. Okay, we all done with that one. Right, we're gonna have a bit of fun now. We're gonna do a square dance, okay? So this one is a little bit of movement and good for your coordination at the same time, okay? You don't know if you, any of you uh, have done any square dancing in the past, okay? But what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a step forward with the right leg, okay? We're gonna step a step to the right with the right leg. Then we're gonna use the left to step back and we're gonna use the left to step to the left. Okay, so are we are we with it? Are we are we are we still here? Okay, right leg forwards, right leg, right, left leg, backwards, left leg, left. Okay, right, right, left, left, right, right, left, left. Sound like we're in the military here, don't we? Huh? Left, right, left, right. I want to confuse myself. How are we doing with this? We get confused yet? Yeah? Right, right, back, left. Okay, right leg, right leg, left leg, left leg. Okay, if you're not a heap of the floor yet, let's do one more. Right, right, left, left. Okay, hope I've not confused anyone there. You're still with me. Okay, so next one is we're going to do a front raise. So you're going to need your weights again. Okay. So I'll use my bottles this time. This time we're going to do a front raise, okay? So your hands in front, just the thighs, and your palms facing towards your body, okay? You're going to lift your hands up to shoulder height and then back down again, okay? I'll show you from the side. Shoulder height, back down. Shoulder height, back down, okay? And again, if you want to make it easier, you can do one hand at a time, okay? Don't worry if you've not got any weights, it's just as effective without your weights, okay? Shoulder height, back down. Shoulder height, back down. Okay, we're doing really well. That's good. Okay, we're just gonna do a couple more of those. Okay, put those down. You're doing really well. Okay, now then, you're gonna need your chairs, okay? I'm just gonna get my timer on here. So, uh, there we go. So I've got a couch here. You can't see it, it's down here. So you could use your couch, okay? Uh, but I'm gonna use a chair. What we're gonna do is a sit to stand exercise, okay? Sit to stand is really, really good to help improve the muscles in your legs, okay? Um, so don't worry if you've had a hip replacement or a knee replacement, okay? Um, it's really, really good to increase those muscles around those joints, okay? And that will help to improve your mobility. So just take your time with it if you're struggling, okay? It's not gonna do you any harm. So I'm just gonna grab my chair. If you've not got a chair, don't worry. You can just squat, okay? And I'll show you that in a minute, okay? So all we're gonna do is sit down, okay? We're not staying here, we're gonna get back up, okay? Back up, sit down, stand up. Sit down, stand up. Okay, now you keep going. I'm gonna move the chair. 
just so you can see, okay? Sit down, stand up, sit down, stand up, okay? Now obviously make sure that your chair is secure and it's not gonna fall backwards, okay? Now you keep going, what you can do, make it a little bit harder. And as you go down, don't actually sit down, okay? Stand up before your bum hits the seat, okay? Just before your bum hits the seat. Sit down, stand up. Sit down, stand up. Now if you've not got a chair, keep going with your sits and stands. If you've not got a chair, you just squat, okay? So make sure your feet are firm on the floor, stick your bum back, stand up, okay? Pretend there's a chair there. Stick your bum back and stand up, okay? Don't worry if you can only go down a little bit. If you can go nice and low, even better. But pretend your chair is there, okay? Nice and slow. Sit down, stand up. Two more, okay? Last one. All right, well done. That's a toughie, that one. You might want to shake your legs out a little bit if you can feel it in your legs. But we're doing really well, okay? Now, a little bit of a cardio exercise again now. We did this one in the warm-up, but we're going to do a heel dig again with an arm curl, okay? Now, if you're struggling after you sit to stand, it doesn't matter, you can do it without weights, okay? If you're feeling good, if you're feeling strong, grab your weights again, and we use the weights, okay? Heel dig, arm curl, we're doing really well. Okay, so we've only got a couple of exercises left now. Okay, next one we're going to do, keep your weights in your hand, we're going to do a front raise to T, okay? Sounds a little bit more complicated than it is, but you're gonna raise your arms up to shoulder height, like we did with the front raise, but then you're gonna go out to the side. So you stood in a T position, okay? So bring them up in front, out to the side, okay? Weights to the front, out to the side, and down. We'll do it from the side so you can see. Up to the front, out to the side, and down. So make sure I don't punch a hole in the telly, because uh, your husband wouldn't be very happy with that. Up to the front, out to the side, and down. Up to the front, out to the side, and down. Okay. Should be feeling that in your shoulders, in your upper arms, and your upper back, out to the side, and down. Don't worry again if you've not got any weights. It's just as good without the movement on its own. Out to the side, and down, okay. I think we'll do another two of these. Up to the front, out to the side, and down. Up to the front, out to the side, and down. Okay, you can put those down now, we're all done with those. Don't forget you can grab a drink if you like, okay? We're almost done, okay? Almost done with your main workout, and then we'll be doing a cool down in a minute. So we've got two more exercises left, okay? The next one I'm going to do is a single leg balance, okay? Um, does what it says on, your, on the tin, very good for your balance, okay? Unlike your core strength. So you might want your chair again for this one. Let me just spin this round. Okay, and all we're going to do is lift one leg up off the floor. Okay, so if you can do this without the chair and try to balance, that's really good. Okay, place the leg back down. Lift your other leg. Okay, back down. If you've got the chair there for a bit of support, just try and let go every now and again. Just see how your balance is. Have it there, we don't want you falling over. But rather than holding on to it, just use it to steady yourself a little bit. Okay. How are we all doing with this one? I hope no one's fell over. Your neighbours are going to wonder what you're up to, aren't they? A couple 
some more of those. How are we doing with that? Okay, so last exercise is toe tap and an arm raise. Okay, again, we did this one in the warm up, and again, you can use some weights if you want to, depends how you're feeling. Okay, but this is our last exercise in our main warm up. Okay, so you're going to do toe tap forward with an arm raise. Okay, toe tap forward with an arm raise. If you're still with me, doing really well. And we'll start the cool down shortly. That's it, you're doing fantastic. If you like, again, as we did in the warm up, you can just do one arm, one leg. Okay, so you're doing opposites, well done. Hope we've not confused you again. We're nearly there. Okay, another couple of these. A few more seconds. Three, two, one. All right. Okay, guys, well done. We've done the main workout. Okay, so that's fantastic. I hope that your heart rate's up a little bit and you feel like you've done a little bit of exercise now. Um, you've got time, if you like, grab your drink, okay? I need that warm in here. I think I'll open my window a bit wider next time. Okay, we've had our drink, we're refreshed, and now we're gonna do it nice, um, cool down, just to finish off, okay? So just a couple of minutes, you don't need your weights or anything for this one. Okay, and as we did at the beginning, we're just gonna march on a spot, but this time just nice and light, okay? Okay, we're gradually gonna low our heart rate, settle the body down now that we've done some exercise. Okay, raise the knees just a little bit higher, but nice and slow this time, okay? Not too fast. Just let your arms swing at the side. Okay, back to the butt kicks that we started with. Nice and slow. Use your chair if you like, or hands on hips. Nice and slow. That's it, hope we're feeling okay. Ready for the day now. Always good to do a bit of exercise in the morning, I think, to get you ready for the day. How are we doing with those? A couple more. Okay, now we're gonna go back to side bends. So hands at the side of your legs, and you just lean over to the side. Then the other side. <laughs> and just go to wherever is comfortable for you. Take it nice and slow. Okay, I'm almost there. Hands near your waist, okay, just about near your belly button. And we're going to do a torso twist, just to loosen up through the middle. That's it. And you should feel that your heart rate maybe is slowing down now. You're feeling like you're getting back to normal. If you're out of breath, then you should be feeling a little bit better now. Okay, now we're going to do the calf raises again. Okay, so trusty chair, up on your heels, nice and slow, up on your heels, back down. Heels, back down. Doing well. 
Okay, so we've done a little mobility there just to cool down and now we're going to finish off with some stretches. Okay, so take your right arm straight across your body. Okay, and then give it a little pull with your left arm. I don't know if you can see, but make sure you're not pulling on your elbow joint. Okay, so you can either pull here or you can just press here and we're just stretching off across the top of the shoulder. Okay, and we're gonna hold that in place just for a few seconds. And then we're gonna switch and do the other arm. Okay, so left arm across the body. Give it a little pull, but not on your elbow joint. Okay, wherever it's comfortable for you. Okay, you should feel the stretching across here. We're nearly done. Okay, so we're going to do an upper back stretch now. So your hands go out in front, interlock your fingers, okay? Keep your hands shoulder height and you want to push your arms, your hands away from your body as far as you can, okay? Hands in front, push out and then what you're going to do is you're going to lower your head down so that you're looking at your toes, okay? Or the floor. Keep your arms at shoulder height, bow your head down and you should feel that stretching across your upper back. Okay, and relax. This time, just take your hands to your hips or just into the small of your back here, and you're gonna squeeze your elbows together. Okay, that is gonna stretch off across the top of your chest here. Okay, so at your hips or in the small of your back, squeeze your elbows, and your shoulder blades together. Okay, relax, give your arms a bit of a shake. Okay, arm circles, again, make sure you're not gonna whack anything off in the living room. Be careful what we're doing here. Nice circles forwards. Okay, and backwards. That's it, we're nearly done. Okay, some little circles with your wrists. Forwards and backwards. Clenching your fists, loosen yourself off. Give yourself a little shake. Okay, now because we did those sit to stands, we're just gonna stretch off the muscles in the back of our legs, okay, our hamstrings. So what you wanna do for this one, okay, is uh, place your hands on your hips and you just go into, push your bum back slightly as if you're gonna sit on a high stool. Okay, take so your right leg forward and make sure your toes are pointing up. I'm not too sure if you can see my feet. Toes pointing up, heel down on the floor. Okay, and then you're going to bend forwards. Try and keep your back nice and straight. Okay, bend forwards, support yourself on your bent leg, not your straight leg. Okay, I'll do that from the front so you can see. And you should feel that stretch here in your hamstring. Okay. Make sure your back's nice and straight and you're not just tipping yourself forward, okay? You should feel that right here. So let's try the other leg, okay? So bend slightly, left leg forward, heel down, toes up, lean forwards, support yourself on your bent leg, not your straight leg, okay? And you should feel that right here on your hamstring. Okay, and then stand yourself up. Give your legs a little bit of a shake. Okay, and we're all done, well done. Grab yourself a drink. Okay, and that's your low impact circuit class all finished. Okay, so I hope that you've enjoyed it. Um, don't forget that we've done a warm up, we've done the main part of the exercise, and we've done the cool down as well. Okay, so grab yourself a drink of water, okay? and uh, go and enjoy the rest of your day. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see you soon. Thank you.